So uh, this is an overview of uh, the demo site from Drone Photos, um, which I started taking with this one, which is the 6th of April um, this year, which was just before the T0 was applied. Um, and the thing to concentrate on all through this uh, run of pictures is the uh, middle run of the variety screen, which is highlighted in red there, because that is untreated. Um, and will be the one that changes obviously the most as we go through these pictures. So the varieties probably of interest at this early stage are um, Skyfall on the left there, highlighted in blue, which was probably the most forward of the Group 1, Group 2 varieties in the trial. You have got uh, Skyscraper in the middle, highlighted in purple, um, which you know was probably the most advanced of all the varieties in the trial at this point. And then towards the right hand side, uh, highlighted in yellow, is uh, Graham, uh, which again was looking quite early at this point, maybe a growth stage or so ahead um, of the other varieties within the site. If we then fast forward uh, 11 days to the 17th of April, um, not much has changed. Uh, there's been no rain still at this point, but the T0 um, fungicide applications have gone on. Now on the ground, there are clearly two or three of the varieties that have got some reasonable levels of yellow rust infection within them. Uh, wasabi, Dunstan uh, and Kerin were noticeable to have uh, early infections at this point. So another week ahead, this is the 24th of April when this image was taken and by this point we had had some rain at the site. There was about uh, a 10 mil uh, rain event on the evening of the 17th, uh, just after the previous uh, photo had been taken. Um, and what was noticeable again here is the skyscraper uh, towards the middle and particularly the Graham um, at this point were definitely filling in the ground uh, with, uh, with good leaf cover and good growth. Um, some of the others are soon to catch up as we'll see, but at this point it is definitely those two um, that are noticeable. Again at this point still the yellow rust infections in some of these varieties are not noticeable from the drone at this height. And so this next image is the 1st of May um, and so by this point there had been almost another 30 mil of rain fall on the 28th and 30th of April. So uh, the site was starting to green up quite nicely. What was also noticeable is that uh, the biggest yellow rust infections on the ground started to become apparent um, in the drone images. So you can see there's three red circles on this from left to right. They are in Kinetic, in Wasabi and in Dunstan. So those infections started to become noticeable. Um, what is interesting is that the purple square on the left is untreated skyfall. Um, and at this point there was no noticeable yellow rust in it from the air. There was on the ground, but uh, not in the air. And if you see how Skyfall turns out uh, in a couple of images time, uh, it's quite impressive that it has, uh, has gone that quickly to the yellow rust. And so forward again, this is the 15th of May. So this was approaching full flag leaf emergence at this point. Um, and so about five days off the T2 being applied. But you can see in the three uh, red circles again that those infections are still growing in the um, Kinetic, the Wasabi and the Dunstan. But also over on the left we can now start to see um, some the new infections appearing in the um, Skyfall, the smaller of the two circles, and in one of the candidates called Seeker um, that also um, will progressively get somewhat yellower. What is also noticeable is that uh, you have the typical green of Crusoe starting to show through. That's in the big yellow uh, rectangle there. Um, but also of interest, uh, further to the right, the purple square is um, Kerin, which is still at this point is looking quite, uh, quite green. Um, that will change. And then by the 29th of May, which is this picture here, you can see our usual suspects uh, are still there, uh, particularly the, the three uh, rectangles on the right around the, uh, the Kinetic, the um, Wasabi and the Dunstan. Um, and you've also got the bigger patches now within Skyfall and within Seeker over on the left. What we are noticing now is that Kerin is starting to go. That's in the purple 
uh, rectangle and for the first time it's been noticeable um, spotlight in the blue rectangle there is starting to turn um, a nasty shade of yellow as well. And then the final three images are from the 5th, the 15th and the 22nd of June. Um, and what they're really showing is the progression of the yellow rust infection through the varieties we've already discussed. That is not to say that there isn't yellow rust quite clearly present that you can see at ground level. It's just not noticeable in the drone images. So there's definitely yellow rust in, uh, in Zyat. Uh, there's little bits in um, Firefly. You've definitely got it um, in the likes of Gleam and Gravity further down the trial and also of course um, brown rust infections coming in uh, so obviously Crusoe is the obvious place to look for that and there's definitely brown rust certainly by the 22nd of June in the Crusoe plot it's also present to a small degree in Firefly um, and in the likes of um, Shabras further down the trial as well.